This is Sky News. Belfast killing, policeman's murder may be linked to Catholic death. Tory leadership contest, Redwood gets support from Thatcher and Tebbit. And sales pitch for rugby union's big prize. Sky News Today with Fiona McDermott. A unionist MP is claiming the murder of an off-duty policeman last night was linked to the death of a Catholic man 24 hours earlier. The police officer was shot dead in a Belfast bar. MP John Taylor says he has no doubt the killing is connected to the attack on father of two, Robert Hamill, who was savagely beaten by a loyalist mob. A getaway car believed to have been used by gunmen was found burning in a hardline Republican area nearby. Customers were left to grasp how their night out had turned to tragedy, having to piece together for detectives the chilling moments. It was a throwback to the type of attack all too frequent in pre-ceasefire times. Two gunmen pulled up in a red Toyota Corolla outside the Parliament Bar on the fringe of the city centre. They went into the busy pub where one opened fire with a pistol, hitting the policeman several times. As customers sought cover, they made off in the car which was found burned out in the Lower Falls area of West Belfast. It's all the hallmarks of being a terrorist shooting. Um, I cannot attribute it to any one particular organisation but it does have the hallmarks of being a terrorist shooting. The bomb squad arrived to check out the dead officer's car. Vigilance is very much the watchword here. This murder of an off-duty policeman as he socialised creates fresh problems for the security forces and worsens an already volatile situation. Gary Honeyford, Sky News, Belfast. This is Sky News. Sheer wickedness, condemnation for the Republican murder of a policeman. I'm no killer, the message from the man arrested over missing Kirsty. And still a winner, Richards lifts the cup as Leicester beats Sale. Sky News on the hour with Andrew Wilson. The hardline terrorist group, the Irish National Liberation Army, says its gunman murdered an off-duty policeman in Belfast last night. Constable Darren Bradshaw was 24. He was shot dead by two gunmen in a bar. The government denounced it as an act of sheer wickedness. It echoed Northern Ireland's darkest days. Darren Bradshaw was drinking with friends when two gunmen walked in. One stood guard at the door as the other shot the unarmed officer several times from behind. The Republican splinter group, the INLA, admitted murdering him. There's always the problem of police officers being targeted on, in their off-duty time and when they're unarmed. And this is, would appear to be another case of that. The bar owners who didn't want to be identified are left to try to grasp the tragedy. They have the Parliament Bar, which is a proudly gay, gay bar, which, is, which has a, a totally mixed um, community. Clan tail. And only people took a leaf out of their book, in a sense. Maybe these things would, would be a thing of the past. As senior detectives search for clues inside, members of a gay rights group paid a simple tribute outside. Darren Bradshaw had recently moved from the ranks of the RUC Reserve to training for full-time membership, although he was under suspension on a disciplinary matter. His murder has put fresh pressure on the already crumbling Loyalist ceasefire. Uh, I think that last night's incident makes life more difficult for all of us. But we're going to continue to do what we can to try and uh, hold the whole uh, environment together as best as we possibly can. However, Republicans must accept their responsibility in this as well. Uh, and they must ask themselves what, whether they really want to find a meaningful peace process or whether they want nothing more than conflict. In Londonderry, meanwhile, several men were arrested after a Protestant was savagely beaten in a sectarian attack. That happened within 48 hours of the death of a Catholic, Robert Hamill, who was viciously assaulted by a Loyalist gang. It's all prompted the new government to lay down a marker, insisting that it won't be deflected by violence from wherever it comes. Gary Honeyford, Sky News, Belfast. <laughs> 